Yeah, g'day, g'day. Eagle, I'm back here again for a roughly a half hour video, roughly, if we can make it that way. Now, we've been through the tutorial, we've completed the, tuto the tutorial, so we're just going to go back into the game where we left it. I think we just put ourselves into the into the ute. So that will roll straight back into the ute. There we are. the Chevy. Now, basically, we've finished the tutorial, so it's up to us, or you, to do whatever you want next. In whatever order that you want to do them. But let's do a bit more of an explanation here. So over here, you see tasks. Now, tasks are Things like this one here, Motel Woes, Missing Machinery, uh, that's what I can see right now. Okay, now they won't appear on your task list here until you go and activate them. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the Chevy. Oh, we'll drive on space bar and we'll just hop into town oh, actually we won't first while we're here we're just going to go over and grab an add-on that is or an upgrade there's one just here for one of the trucks we have right now. So I'm going to go grab that right now. This was quite, we are really close to it, so. I'm going to go up, up to the, what does that say? Drilling site. Big stuff happens here later on. We've got to bring a big trailer down here from up the hill. It's a big trailer. It's not very hard to do. So, we'll cover that when we get to it. Let's just come and grab this upgrade. Actually, we could do one of the tasks. We can turn on one of the tasks while we're here as well. Okay, so there, there is an upgrade. We saw that back at the beginning when we got the truck. So we'll just drive onto that and press the C button and see it's a raised suspension for the Fleet Star, which we already have. So let's just V, oops, okay, let's just V this for a second, stop the engine, press the map, come to the objects, we we'll scroll down here to garage entrance, click on it, and this means use the enter key into the garage now in our storage there's our our fleet star so we deploy that back customize suspension and you can see here they gave us a free upgrade of one, of one suspension part so we'll click on that and you see the truck raise up install now we have one stock one so let's click on that hit the space bar sell that for $4,900 right so that free part we installed and then we just gain $4,700 by selling the old one that we don't want anymore <coughs> so go back back we'll turn that for now um, go back to the to the map hit the Chevy and hit enter now just ahead of us there, you can see it in the back foreground or background. There's a, a bridge that's out just there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duck over here. I think the 
this is a task. Hang on a sec, map. Oh, it might be a map, might be a... What's container? Let's just go there and have a look for something. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here. Yeah, it is a task zone. There you go, it says so. Alright. So I'll hop in there for a minute and we're just going to accept that task and then close it. We haven't actually started the task. Now over here is a drop-off zone. Let's just shut the engine off for a second to save fuel. Map. Okay, so now here in our task zones we have a wooden bridge. Takes two planks, 120 points, 400 pounds, well, pounds, dollars, whatever, or units. So now we can start that any time we want. Now the thing about tasks is sometimes the start point, like this one here, is nowhere near the task. Could be in the middle of a map somewhere. So it's always a good idea to, if you see a task, is to go and activate it. Don't start it if you don't want to start it, that's fine. But just at least activate it so that um, you can go and start it whenever you want to. Um, I know some of the stuff, some of the task things are in weird places. Uh, so your best bet be your best to actually activate them while you're there. Um, has some hassles later, so um, even, if, even if you see a task and you've got to drop a trailer to go start it, just go and do that. It's just a whole lot better for later on. Okay, so we're just going to run over here and I shall show you the task now. So it's up to you whatever you do now. Absolutely up to you. But what we'll do is first, I'll just take this vehicle up here. When it's on over, that'll reset and be back on the next next time we come back. I'm not quite sure. I think it's whether how the semi loads, whether it's all in there right now or whether it progressively loads. happening next we do need to get the upgrades for this chute to explore with so I'll often prioritize getting the upgrades for this particular vehicle <coughs> that trailer's down there which we, which we will whoa which we want to come and get okay so there's a couple of tasks here we'll have a look at just activate them for now then they'll appear on our list so a task could always have that little bit of paper on top like that so you see and accept the mission won't do that. And here's this trailer we had before. Oh, skiddy skiddy. And this roadblock should be gone now. Which it is. The bollards are gone. And here is another task. So this is for the rock slide up the hill here. We'll We'll just accept that one. If any of these you see, 
just put him in the guts first while you're driving around. Jump for the mud. Kachonk, kachonk. Don't want to sign over. There's a, a point there. We'll go there in a second and, and unhide that tower. Little task here. And up there, you can see the the rock fall over the road. So we'll come and do that shortly. But we're just going to go here and um, hopefully this vehicle gets through here. So we don't have a diff lock or skinny tires or race suspension. And I've got a low gearbox but we do have four wheel drive at least. I'll unlock this tower. There's a can upgrade location that over the engine. For this vehicle, look at the map right up here. Okay, so there it is. There, that's the engine upgrade for this vehicle. And up here is our uh, our Sky 800. So let's go and do a bit of work. If we can get through here, we'll be good. Stop the vehicle, so... While we're here, there's a task down here at the... I think it's the boathouse. Or the cat... or the... Boathouse manager, or... Well... We're going to activate this one here as well, while we're here. See, Riverside repairs, uh, accept, close. Now, to get to this 800, we can go up around all these, or we'll take a shortcut. I'm going to show you the shortcut. This is okay, fine, no dramas, but I'll show you the shortcut instead. Oops. Hit the winch. Stuck on some of these little bushes here. See what I mean? So we're always stuck on a bush. It's a little tiny bush. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll try again. down to the right, be careful here because the, the angle of the road is really sideways and you can roll to the right. So just gently down here. Try to keep the vehicle even if you can. Now up this road here. That just saved us all that time going around that switch back. The 
suit just down there. White with a browny coloured roof. So another point for discovering it, the V, stop engine, change the trucks, scout. It has a diff lock and all wheel drive, it has a permanent diff lock. So it actually makes it a bit more drivable than the other one. But this is a lot skinnier and quite unstable. So Quite often I'll take this one because it has got a diff lock in it. Now the diff lock for the Chevy is not on this map, it's on Smithfield Dam. So the engine upgrade and the, and the right suspension for the Chevy is on this map. So. They were a free upgrade, so it'll give us one, and then it'll also give us the option to buy more if we want more than one vehicle. So we shall come around the back here. I don't just come this way, I just come the other way. So I'm working backwards here. in the shadow of the, of the hill, so in a minute I'll do another switch to daytime I think. Those runs are easy to pull off the side. See how steep that is. You don't realise it from this angle. the upgrade for the engine for the Chevy oh, more damage okay there's the Chevy one there that's the engine we'll drive there park, park on it get upgrade and that's for the 5.2 litre engine for the Apache and the so we'll just so the other one's up here all the way down here so what we'll do for now is um, so we've discussed the tasks there on here every time a new mission appears you'll get these little things here like farming tools, it'll tell us what we're going to get. Um, that one's quite easy to do. Um, the highlight one is the newest one, Pipe Dream. Got to take a fuel tanker, um, bricks of metal up to 
the up here to the factory. Oh, there's a trailer over here with bricks on it as well. That's a, that's a, a trailer for um, a scout vehicle, not a truck trailer. So you can't tie it with anything else but a scout vehicle. Um, and with the old locked until we do the harvest delivery there at Smithfield Dam. Um, lost container. I think it's with Phil Dam, logs, logs. Timber we, will be logs. I haven't done any log ones yet because logs haven't been in the ground all that long. Um, I think these ones here. They'll all stay until we read them once. They'll all stay yellow. So the yellow indicates the fact that um, um, you haven't read the thing yet or it's new. Because certain things will really uh, will unlock certain things. So, and the tasks down here we have all the tasks in here. Uh, stuck trailer and we haven't been we haven't visited the the one down here for mm, do that now. There's one down here. Right mouse button to do this. Oh, motel woes, we haven't picked that up yet. Let's go pick up motel woes. Oh, mission. Um, skip time, skip time, skip time. Okay, we'll go do this and then. Um, I said, really, it's totally up to you what you do next. I'm going to just do a few bits and pieces. Um, like usually now, I'll go and get the the raised suspension for the Chevy truck. And I might do a couple of missions and then I'll then I'll go and um, do the task to repair the bridges and unblock the roadblocks. And there's at least two more bridges. One we've seen with a wooden wooden um, that's a task we've already activated. Um, there's a a small bridge we've already seen where we started, we had to have that one already. That one needs, oh, needs the two wooden crates. No, two wooden pallets of wood. There's a road blockage we haven't seen yet. We've not activated it. And another bridge to be activated. And just here is the hotel. And just here is hotel was so I activate that except that will now appear in our list of hotel was it's a curtain side trailer which is up here and stuck trailer here is also a curtain side trailer they're easy to get, but we still have a rock slide here in between. We need to repair that before we can do these two missions. Wood bridge we need to repair, and we've already activated that one. And up here is another bridge and another roadblock. And the following power line we have to do to it too. So, it's really up to you what you do next. I would probably. Do the actual mission for Lost Container first. Well, not Lost Container. Which one is it? Um, farming tools. <coughs> we 
which is just grabbing that curtain designer from here see it just there and taking it to the farm which is right there and that will just get us up some money we really want to get up to level four because on level four um we can get add-ons for the vehicle that we need which is a fuel tanker and a repair or some more so the repair um, add-on for the vehicle and then we'll go to um, drown land in the Tamir province or the Tamir section and grab a free vehicle from there that is very very exceptional and that's the Tiger um, that's handy to have you, but you have to repair it and to repair it we really need to have the repair module for our truck which is not available to level four so and we're currently not anywhere near there so well, let's leave this one for now and um we'll come back and do a, bit, a little bit more later on so i'm just gonna take this out to contracts um close this off and press this gate key and i'll talk to you again soon cheers for now